I'm Taylor. And I'm Nora. And welcome to season 10, episode 3 of Dough with the Flow. Today we're making millionaire shortbread. Mm, feeling rich and fancy. <laughs> yeah, but really it's just a layer of shortbread. Then we have to make caramel. That is the scary part. Yes. And then chocolate. That's fine. That's easy. We just melt the chocolate. <laughs> so, seems simple enough as long as we don't mess up the caramel. Yeah, it's just a lot of steps, so it's going to take some time to have things cool and set and cool and set or whatever is happening with them. But I think the end result will be, yeah, simple and hopefully tasty. And we have a special guest today! Someone's watching us right now! <laughs> what? <laughs> Who could it be? Surprise! What? It's Annie! It's Annie! <laughs> Our second ever helper! Yay! Bringing a bougie sensibility Yay. to the millionaire shortbread. <laughs> so, here we are. We've already greased our pan, got our oven preheating to 350, and now we need to start weighing out the three ingredients that go into shortbread. Yeah, <laughs> it's really simple. Shortbread is easy. That's what I'm hoping. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So, we've got plain flour. Yep. 250 grams of it. Cool. That's some flour. And then we've got sugar and butter. That's really all that's in this, which is pretty wild. It should be just a stick and a half. Um, that was one stick. And I can't get into this. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors? Cut in half? Yeah. I think I can do that. See how Paul Hollywood you are? Yeah. Very Paul Hollywood. <laughs> There we go. I'm good at getting exact measurements by eyeballing, so. Yeah, I'm good at eating shortbread, so. <laughs> well, they we all have our talents. <laughs> Get your hands in there. Feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> feels kind of good. I've discovered that flour is very soft and kind of pleasing to have your hands in. But that's just. Me. I've always wanted to like take a bath in flour. Oh. oh that's a good. Good, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to use tools. Yeah. Since we're making millionaire shortbread, this seems like a great time to talk about Marxism. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Tell me, how many ways will you destroy the bourgeoisie today? <laughs> as many as I can. So now I'm just gonna um, pick this with a fork. Yeah. Here Stab there. it like you're stabbing the soft underbelly of capitalism. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. Fine. So. Just enough yeah. to, I guess, let air out. Yeah, I, I don't know why you stab shortbread. I just know that you do. Yeah. I assume it's so it doesn't like puff, puff too much. I don't sense. really know. It's going to be covered anyway. Okay, so I, I think you're yes, good. You can this is fun. As much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> you're eating a lawn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we are with the shortbread. Yeah. Looks pretty good. No? Let's just check out the sides. Oh. Too brown? It's pretty brown on the bottom, but it still looks pretty good on top. I don't think it looks that brown. It looks good to me. It wasn't hardening up very well, so we cooked it for longer than it said because it said firm to the touch and it was feeling squishy. So here it is. I'm very intrigued by this caramel because the sugar in it is muscovado. And I don't know, that just sounds like an extra cool element to me. A little extra flavor. Sounds yeah. fancy to me. And then two cans, little cans, I guess these are normal cans yeah. of <laughs> condensed milk. Also interesting. Um, I mean, it's got to be for like this type of caramel, right? Because yeah. there's different Definitely. types. Bring yeah, this oil. is like a soft caramel. Looks like it's dissolved, so I'm going to go ahead and turn up the heat a little bit. And we're gonna get so we can bring oil. it to the boil, the as boil. it says. And then I think we'll turn it down pretty and much right away. For like five minutes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. As soon as it gets to the boil. Yeah. We think it's boiling. There's been some bubbles. It's making some burbly. So mm -hmm. we're going to turn it down low, very low simmer, and do another five minutes of constant stirring. I think the slow roiling boil of this caramel <laughs> is sort of like the boiling anger of the proletariat. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> ready to pour? I think so. Yeah? Do you feel... I don't have a concept since I've never stirred it of how it started and how thick it got. It's definitely gotten thicker. So if the goal was to have it be slightly thickened, it is... it's that bill. Okay. Okay. I'm so. gonna trust you. Okay. Great. Let me bring this to here. I just pour it. Yep. Yep. And it should 
Yeah. It's luscious. Oh. Oh. This is a family show. Oh, it's luscious as <laughs> all get out. I'm gonna measure out some chocolate because we are ready for our top layer. I basically, I realized that we were basically making a giant Twix and now I'm just even more excited. Yeah. This is just the <laughs> last step. So we um, decided that we are going to marble it, which you don't have to do, but she says that you can. And so we're gonna melt our dark chocolate on the stove, but then we will do the milk chocolate in the microwave. She means white chocolate. Yep. Mm. That looks really good. I'm glad it's spreading over it well. I was a little nervous about them accidentally mixing, you know, if yeah. the caramel wasn't completely set and hot chocolate. But it's luscious. Oh my god. That is, I think, the word of the episode. Wow, look at that. Marbling. This is, is so why I love marbling because it's so yeah. easy, but it looks so fancy. Before I was all about the working class rising up and defeating <laughs> our bourgeois masters, but now that I see how fancy it is, yeah, maybe I could get used to being a millionaire. <laughs> These certainly look amazing. Yeah, from a visual level, they look pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Mostly because you can clearly see what's in them. And I like all of those things. It's pretty darn tasty. A little messy, but it's decadent and delicious. Shortbread has a nice texture to it. Mm hmm. Whoever needed that, good job. The caramel has a good texture too. Because I feel like it's hard to get that right. But it's like, it's gooey. It's sweet. I don't know that I need a lot of it. But only because I'll be perfectly satisfied after having this bar. Yeah. It's nice that the shortbread has a nice bit of a crunch to it, because otherwise we might feel like mushy, but it kind of gives it a good base for all this sh sugar to sit on top of. Mm -hmm. Good texture combination. I feel like the caramel really drives most of the flavor, like the chocolate is in there. The shortbread has some flavor, but mostly it's like caramel mm -hmm. with texture and chocolate around it. It's the kind of dessert that makes you think, if I were a worker during the French Revolution, I would murder people for eating this. Which I think is what we were going for. 